Are you ready to jump into a world that's a little dark and twisty for a moment? Ink and Bone is the latest novel written by New York Times bestselling author Lisa Unger. Lisa joins us today to tell us about the book that once again critics are raving about. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so excited to have you on. Congratulations again on another book that people are going crazy about. Does it ever get, I, I imagine the feeling doesn't get old though when it you, it's not. still a lot of pressure. Sure. Yeah, it is a lot of pressure, but I have to say like every single time that, you know, that first bound copy comes in the mail and it's a real book, it's a, as exciting as it was the very first time. It never, ever gets yeah. old. And then how does it feel to be able to say too, I'm a New York Times bestselling author? I feel like that's like the, you know, the mark you've made it once and then to repeatedly do it. <laughs> it's a great, it, I mean, it's a great feeling, but I mean, honestly, just seeing my name on the, on the jacket of a book is, I mean, that's equally amazing feeling. Aww. So, yeah. Well, let's dive into this latest one, Ink and Bone. And uh, again, I love that uh, we kind of own that it's, it's it's a little dark and twisty. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a, a psychological thriller. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. So, kind of set the stage for us. Okay. What is this? Uh, what does this storyline take us? Well, it's set in a in a fictional town called The Hollows, which I've been writing about for a couple of years, and it's a town that's kind of been evolving. But this particular story, and, and all my books are, are sort of written to stand alone. Okay. But but this particular story um, revolves around a young woman by the name of Finley Montgomery, and she's a 20-year-old girl, and she has a gift that she would just rather return. She, as long as she can remember, has been able to see people who other people can't see. Uh -oh. And she's, you know, she's been, you know, she's been trying to sort of deal with it and to fight it, and you know, she's doing like all the things that every miserable 20-year-old does. <laughs> like she's getting herself into trouble, she's messing up her life, and so finally she decides it's time to go to the hollows and move in with her grandmother, Eloise Montgomery, who's a renowned psychic. And she feels like she's going to be able to take this winding path to figuring out what, what she can do with who she is. And instead, she gets drawn into an investigation of a missing girl. And it's a baptism by fire for her in the hollows. Oh, boy. Yep. So dark and twisty. Is it fair to say? I mean, you're such a lovely, beautiful um, person. <laughs> well, how does this dark and twisty you know, world live inside your mind? I feel like I've always, I've always Always been this way. I've always just had this, you know, my mind always just sort of goes to the darkest places. And I always sort of make this analogy is like, you know, you go to the to the movies and you there's a you know there's a noise in the basement and a girl on the stairs and she's going downstairs oh, with her flashlight and everyone's it. like, get out of the house, you know, and she's still going down the stairs anyway. But that's me. I'm I wanted to see what the noise was, so that's why I think I always go to the dark places. And what's kind of the connection? I heard there's some very interesting three sisters uh, in in kind of this this yeah. plot of the book that make a pretty interesting well, storyline as well. Yeah, the three sisters are um, the the first people and the people that continuously sort of visit with Finley and she has like this this she has a relationship with them that she doesn't quite get yet mm -hmm. but they're sort of you know in some in, in some moments they're her friends and in some moments they're her um, her enemies and a lot of times they get her into trouble and then sometimes at the last minute they yank her out of harm's way. So so okay. it's a very complicated sister-like relationship she has with these three women who are no longer with us. All right, very interesting read again, Ink and Bone. Um, it was, you know, before we uh, started our segment this morning, I asked you, I was very curious, has any movie companies contracted you? I mean, is that something on your bucket list that you would eventually like to see your stories, you know, on the big screen? Well, there, you know, there is an option for In the Blood, which is the book that published um, two books ago, mm -hmm. and that's something that's sort of out there um, potentially might happen but I mean to be honest you know I, I'm a writer and for me it's a it's a thrill to be you know published yeah. every year it's something I'm continuously grateful for um, and you know I think it would be super exciting of course to have you know sort of that filmic vision mm -hmm. of the, the books that I've written but it's sort of you know it's sort of something that I can't really control Because so. when you're writing them do they play out like movies in your head where you know beginning middle and end or when is it that you kind of complete the story and it's completed in your mind. Well, I mean, I very much discover the story on the page in the same way that a reader does. When I sit down okay, to so write... Okay, so when you sit in the beginning, you don't necessarily know how it's going to end. I don't. I don't know much about it at all. A lot of times I just have a character voice, and it's that voice or a series of voices that I follow through the story. And um, I write, you know, my best hours are from 5 a.m. to noon, and it's sort I of like... I that. think that's yeah. when you're, like, sort of most, you know, connected to that dream 
brain and those quiet hours and the story unfolds you know on the page as I write so in a lot of ways I write for the same reason that I read because I want to know yeah. you know what's going to happen to these people living in my head well a good summer read right here Lisa thank you so much thank for coming you. on our show this morning uh, I'd imagine this book is anywhere where books are sold anywhere books Amazon, are sold Amazon online everywhere yeah, and in the real world too all, all over right. yeah I love it Lisa <laughs> thank you so much again Ink thank and you. Bone is her latest uh, book definitely a good um, summer read if you're ready for a little action a Thank little you. suspense <laughs>